Is the shotgun the ultimate prepper gun? This is something that you probably heard a million and one time. If you cannot get anything, get a shotgun. That is the most versatile uh, firearm that any prepper or anybody can get at any given time. And um, they're not lying to tell you the truth. The shotgun is um, an extreme versatile firearm. You have so many options when it comes to shells. You have for birds, you have uh, buck shots, you have slugs. Um, you have a platform that is extremely, extremely easy to handle. Whether it's a single shot, whether it's an over under, whether it's a side by side, whether it's a pump action, whether it's a semi auto, they are extremely easy to handle. Very easy to. Even a person who had never handled a firearm, you give them a shotgun and they won't be able to figure it out on their own, honestly. However, with that being said, I have to mention the limitations of such a uh, firearm because it is, it, there, we always focus on the good things. And one thing that I did forget to mention is the shotguns, I mean the simple one especially the one single shot the the one that you break open and whatnot uh those are very cheap they are extremely cheap uh i remember buying one uh back in the day and i think it was like 70 dollars it was not a brand name or anything like that it was a 20 gauge and it was extremely extremely reliable i mean it, you you cock it you shoot very easy you know but uh one shot again uh anybody can picked up that one and, and you know just go at it not a problem but again let's let's look at the limitations because i will be doing a disservice if i don't let you know the limitation that a shotgun has and and some people tend to ignore those limitations and tend to focus only on the good things let me first start by saying that no firearm is perfect no firearms is going to do everything that you need that's why we have different types of firearms essentially you have shotguns that they're mainly for birds and whatnot and you have rifles who will will reach a longer distance uh, that comes in place because of the barrel one has a smooth barrel and the other ones have rifling the shotgun does have smooth barrel um, therefore accuracy is not there i'm going to be brutally honest with you all the shotgun range is typically with uh, bird shots uh, 50 100 yards uh, and that's depending on the choke that you have um, beyond that distance the, the spread is just going to be way too much uh, especially for for birds um, you can put um, slugs and I, and I have an ascent put right here um, I'm and I'm and I'm you know referring to a 20 gauge because this is the one that I use the most. I don't particularly care much for the uh, 12. I have 12. Um, in fact, I have shown the T12, uh, which is a semi-auto with three different magazines. That one is like, oh my god! If you're gonna get one, I encourage you uh, to see that one. Is is badass I'll tell you what um you get slugs this is for larger animals again the distance you know keep it close keep it close because that smooth bore it's just not going to give you a lot of you know accuracy and like i mentioned before there is a lot of ammunition diversity but you need to know the limitations of that ammunition um i'll be honest with you i will not be sending a a you know a slug over 100 yards it's just I don't know what I'm gonna hit to tell you the truth. In fact, I I keep this I keep this uh, with me uh, in case that when I go bird hunting, I encounter a bear or whatever, and I can just throw one or two in there and bam bam. But otherwise, I honestly would rather use my 10 mil that I carry with me instead of that. That's just my personal preference. I'm being honest with y'all. The reloading time on a shotgun, whether it's a pump, whether it's a single, uh, single, single one, uh, whether uh, whatever it is you're using, is going to take longer. Uh, especially when you compare it to a semi-auto, whether you compare it to an AR-15, even a 10-22, it's a lot faster to reload than a shotgun. 
Uh, shotguns are clunky uh, and it, it, it takes a little bit to get used to the reloading part. Some people can do it real fast, but those are the exception. I don't want to. I don't want you to think like, oh well, I've seen people doing it online. Well, that those are them. We're talking about us. You get what I'm saying? We're talking about us. Uh, and and of course the bulkiness uh, comes in place too. It, it, shotguns are large, um, and they they're bulky and and they're heavy most of the time. Uh, meaning that, well, they're a lot harder to carry than any other firearm, in my opinion. But there are some that are heavier than the shotgun, but that's, um, you know, that's here and there. But they are bulky, and when people say, well, uh, you can use it for self-defense inside a house, get a broomstick and just start swinging that thing inside your house and see how many things uh, you knock down inside your home. Uh, I know it's not a fair comparison, but try to do that and you're gonna see how easy it is to bump into things and probably um, You know shoot something that you did not meant to shoot of course there is that Limited penetration that a, a bird uh, shelf has as well Let's be honest um, If somebody gets a uh, Pepper by this, it's, it's, it's pepper by this. Uh, the the saying uh, goes because uh, once the clothes comes off, uh, you're gonna have little black spots all over. And um, penetration is not there unless you're using a, you know, a slug or, or box shots or something like that. So keep that in mind that once it spreads, uh, if you have somebody that you did not intend uh, to get hurt, a mate keep that in mind noise and recoil is something that all shotguns have in common all of them some more than others but all of them are loud as heck even if you use a 410 they are loud and I tell you this because I own two they are still loud uh, recoil depends on the rifle you're gonna get more uh, than others depending on the shotgun itself um, but they still have a higher recoil than uh, a modern firearm saying as an AR-15 as a 10-22 or something like that so recoil may be an issue for those of you with uh, beat up shoulders like I do that's why I use a 20 gauge uh, small people uh, children's may have an issue with that recoil and wanna and here's the other thing that I want to mention, you know, and when it comes to limitations, I want you to see what I have behind me. Uh, that right there is a 25 um, shell box. Uh, that is a, a bit big, to tell you the truth, and it only brings 25. The ones right next to it are um, slugs, and they only bring five each. Um, I wait both of them to tell you the truth and we're going to discuss and i actually wrote it down on everything as i waited uh the the equivalent of a shelf if 12 22 rounds to keep it easy 12 22 rounds, and i have them literally right here that's the equivalent of it I want you now to consider, and I'm just giving you a 22 to give you an example, that you only get one shot. You get 12. They both have limitations. Both have limitations. So I want you to understand that a shotgun is not, you know, the end of the road. It's not the best or ultimate prepper gun it is not it is meant for one thing uh to do a job uh this will shine truly shine when you're hunting birds it will 22 will not now especially if they are in the air so this was designed for one reason this was designed for another reason and I here to tell you the 
we sometimes want tools to perform all the way around, like be a jack of all trades. They are not. They are not. So we have to take everything with a grain of salt. Can you survive if all you have is a shotgun? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the amount of um, ammunition diversity is there. Would that be better than a 22? No, a 22 it was designed for something different. You get what I'm saying? It may do the same job, but the 22 has a lot more accuracy. 22 is a lot cheaper as well. And I'm just giving you, you know, examples so you can make your decision. In my opinion, it is better to have both, honestly. Because if I'm going to go bird hunting, flying bird hunting, I'd rather have a shotgun. Shoot, I will not take a 22, to be honest with y'all. If I go bird hunting, like here, that, you know, they're just roosting and I... I don't I don't really need a shotgun. I will take a 22. So again, when it comes to the ultimate prepper gun, a shotgun is not it. A 22 is not it. A combination is it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I always rock on, prep on, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.